Hi guys, welcome to this session. In this session, we're gonna see how we create the Facebook ad creative in the campaign. So once you're in the campaign, the last thing which we saw was how we could do the placements targeting. And once you do this, we can go to the next page where we can now create the Facebook ad creative out here. So let's have a look at what all details we'll have to fill up over here. So we start with the ad name, which we can give out here specifically in this particular manner. And then we get into the particular ad creation process. So first is wherein we can tell about which Facebook page based on which the ad is getting created. We can also link our Instagram account over here. If we want to provide some information from there, we can use some images from the Instagram page as well. So we can select and connect our account out here. Then we are going to create the ad, set, ad over here. So which is going to be the ad type, which we're going to look at the ad creative. So the first thing which you add over here is media, which is basically images or video, which you can upload out here. So you have both the options given. So let's say we are uploading an image out here. So we can select the image which we want to uh, upload and then we can click on next and we can go ahead and select the option which is going to come up out here in this particular manner. And we can use that in the ad creation process specifically. So now that you've uploaded your media over here, then we move forward and we go ahead and provide the primary text, which is going to appear on the ad. In this particular manner, if you want, you can add more text as well, uh, if you, which is going to appear on the ad, as you can see in the preview, how it is going to look like. And then we can also give some description regarding the ad as well. in this particular way. So once you provide your description, Facebook also gives you the option to add multiple more descriptions. If you want to, you can add more descriptions which can be used in the ad in different placements. Apart from this, you also have a call to action button which you can provide. So here are multiple options given to us. So from which we can select which one makes more sense for us and we can use that in the ad as well in this particular way. And then comes the destination part. So then the destination part where we have to provide the landing page URL, the website URL where the traffic will be taken to. So you can give your website URL out here, which will make the users reach this particular website once they click on our Facebook ads. So which you can provide here. Apart from that, you have other options as well. You can provide a call button as well on your website. You can add a call button. Okay, or you can drive the traffic to, let's say, a Facebook event which you are conducting or you want people to uh, give you a call directly. So for all these reasons, you can specify the destination in this particular part. Other than this, we also have the languages option, which is basically which can add our own uh, translations, which we can use to translate the ad. Okay, or automatically it can be translated. We also have to set the tracking, which is basically the Facebook pixel, which should be set up properly and which can be linked over here so that when people click on our ad and reach our website and take our service, let's say they buy the course, in that case, it should get tracked correctly inside our Facebook ads account. So for that, we can go ahead and select our particular Facebook pixel, which we have set up and we can use that out here. And then finally, we have the URL parameters, which we can give if you want to give any URL parameters, which we give uh, to track where our visitors are coming from. So in case we want to see that kind of data that they're coming from which devices or which source traffic sources they are coming from. So in such a case, we can also add a URL parameter out here. So these are going to be all the details which you're going to give. You can see a preview of the ad over here as well, how it is going to get created and placed on different placements, which we have here on Facebook specifically in this particular manner. So now that the ad has been created completely, now what you can do is you can go ahead and click on publish to 
publish the Facebook ads campaign. In this specific manner, guys, we are able to create the ad creative, okay? And then we can go ahead and run the ad. I hope this makes sense. And now you understand the complete ad creation part, which we have done over here. Thank you so much, guys, for listening into this session today. And I will see you in the next video.